Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to swap out a sky. So if you have an image that looks like this, you could end up with an image that looks like this. I think you'll find in most cases it's very easy to swap a sky using On One Photo Raw 2019. For our demonstration today, I'm going to be using this image. It was a beautiful night in Columbus, Ohio, but unfortunately the sky wasn't very compelling, so I'd like to replace it. Now, first of all, I did do some just basic processing. I did some basic tone and color processing and lens corrections, and that's really all I've done to this image. Now, I'd like to replace the sky. On One Photo Raw 2019 comes with a number of different files that you're free to use. They have a number of different backgrounds, textures, and borders. To access those, and when you replace a sky, you have to add that sky layer. So we have to add a layer. Now we are in the Edit Panel, Develop Module. We're going to click this little plus sign to add a layer. When you do that, this dialog box pops up. To access those On One Extras, we're going to click on Extra, and then we're going to click on On One Extras, and you can see Backgrounds, Borders, and Textures. And the skies are in the Background folder, so we're going to double click on that, and you can see their skies, we'll click on that, and there's 50 skies to choose from. And I think this one right here, Skies 48, will work well, so I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on Add as Layer. When I do that, it will, and you look on the right-hand side, you can see it added that as a layer above our original layer. But unfortunately, it doesn't quite fit, does it? It's a little bit too small. So we have to size it to our original image. To do that, we're going to go over to the left-hand panel and click on Transform. Now, you can just grab the handles and, you know, resize it so it covers up the sky. A quick way to do it that you may want to try is this little icon right here. Click that, and it just fits it to the canvas. And you can see it just straightens it right out or stretches it right out. So it completely covers this image. Now, I really don't need it to cover the entire image. I just need it to cover the lowest point of the sky, which is right here on this building or to the left of this building. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push it up because I like the light down at the bottom better than the light up at the top. So I'm just going to push it straight up and I'm just going to make sure that it just covers that area right here where the sky was. Now I do have another issue. If you look at my original image and when I was there taking this photo, uh, the sun was setting to camera left. So to my left was where the sun was setting. And it's actually kind of behind these buildings a little bit. And you could see they're not really that front lit. They're not really that side lit. The sun was way over here. So this, this sky image, the sun's over here. So I need to flip it around. To do that, right here we have flip horizontal. We'll click on that and we just flipped the image. Now... Again, as I look at it, um, the kind of the compelling part of it, of this photo, is right here on the right. And a lot of that will be covered up by the buildings. So I may maybe just kind of cheat a little bit and slide it a little bit to the left as well. So I make sure it's covering that bottom, slide it to the left a little bit. And I think that would be a nice uh, area right there. So that's good. I'm happy with this transformation. So we're going to click on apply. Now, all's fine and good so far. We have the sky sized and placed where I want it to be. Now I have to get rid of the original sky. To do that, we're going to go over here and flip flop the layers. Right now, the original layer is on the bottom. I want that on the top. So I'm just going to click on it and move it to the top. So now it's totally covering up the new sky we're going to be adding. So we have to get rid of this original sky. Super easy to do. We're going to go over to mask. And one of the mask tools, if you look along the top, is the AI quick mask brush. Now click on that 
and you'll see that we have these little instruction kind of manual pops up. It says use the red drop mode to mark the areas you want to paint out, then use the green keep mode to mark the areas you want to paint in. Press apply to preview the mask. You can continue painting red or green until the desired mask is reached. Then press done or switch tools to create the final mask. The edge will be automatically refined when you do. So we're in drop mode and this is the red mode. This is the area I want to get rid of. So I want to get rid of the sky. So I'm going to get a slightly bigger brush by hitting the right bracket key. And I'm going to go down here as low as possible. And I'm just kind of kind of go in here and really you don't have to do too much here. I'm even probably doing more than I need to do, to tell you the truth. So I'm going to come in here and so you don't have to come in and paint every single pixel of the original sky. So that's the area I want to get rid of. I also want to get rid of, I want to make, try to get in as close as possible. You can see there's a distinctive difference between the sky right here and right here. There's like a, a cloud off in the distance. So I want to make sure that it gets that as well. So I'm going to come in there and get a smaller brush and make sure it kind of gets in there. A really tiny brush. I don't really... You don't really have to do this, but I found that if you take a little time and kind of, you know, go in and make sure you get all those little nooks and crannies that it will uh, give you a better mask to begin with. And then you don't have to do as much refinement later. So now we need to paint in the part we want to keep. So we're going to go to the drop down and click on keep. Now we're going to be painting in green. So I'm going to get a little bit larger of a brush and we're going to come in here and I'll go across that building up down this building and again you don't even have to paint in continuous lines like I'm doing I just happen to be doing it I'll go up this building down that building across here and across here Across this building, across these buildings, and under there. So that's the part we're going to keep. Of course, we're keeping everything below that as well, but we don't have to paint there. So I'm going to click Apply, and it's going to give you kind of a preview of your mask. And it just takes a second. And you can see where this kind of line is. That's our area that it's going to cut out. Now, one thing that you'll notice is it's cutting out these antenna that are on top of the buildings. So we could try to refine that. Uh, so we'll go to uh, keep mode. We're going to get a tiny, tiny, tiny brush. Kind of click once there. Hold the shift key down, click there to get a straight line. Click once there, hold the shift key down, shift key down to click a straight line. Similarly, we'll go over to this antenna, click once, hold the shift key down, click a second time. And this tiny antenna, I'm not sure is going to be possible, but we'll see what we could do. Click once, hold the shift key down. Get that straight line so I got those antenna covered and we could click apply see how it does and once it renders it's gonna be a little bit kind of hairy around there but we'll see if we could fix that so we're gonna click done all right so we'll click done and you'll see in a moment that our sky will be replaced then we got to just refine it a little I'm sure when we're done and actually, it did pretty good as you look at it. It's got that sky replaced um, pretty well. I mean, it even has the antennas in there um, pretty well. I mean, it looks pretty good all the way around. I could kind of go to the view mode and zoom in. 
See, there's a lot of noise from my original shot. A lot of noise in the sky, too, so those match. So when I do noise reduction later, it matched over in here. Noise reduction and sharpening later, I'll take care of all that. It actually did a really nice job. I really, uh, it did a perfect job, actually. I kind of wanted to show you how to refine it. So in a future video, I will cover that, and we'll talk about refining a mask, because I think that's important to know how to do.